Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sobi here. Welcome to new fluid art tutorial. Today, I want to use a new stencil that I got. Here I have this really beautiful feather. Oh, you probably can't really see it. Hold on. There you go. That should be better. Here is that beautiful feather. <laughs> and um, I want to try something different for it. I want to go for yin and yang kind of layout. Very cool, abstract looking. There is so much paint here already. And I want to have one half of the feather with black and one with white. And for my background, I want to reverse the color. So white part of the feather on black part, on black background and vice versa. But I also want to implement a lot of gold in it. So it's gold with some of the yin and yang colors. I, the idea is really cool in my head, but let's see how it turns out um, on the canvas. So first of all, let's create the background. I want to use fluid acrylics. I want to create sort of pretty sharp black and white border, but I want to add some flown elements, flown and blown elements. So let's get to it. First of all, I create a little guidance for myself by drawing a borderline where the center of my feather is going to be. Now let's add those colors. And for the black side, I actually decided to go not for pure black, but for a mix of black and red. It will still dry almost black and will give me the contrast that I want, but I think that it will look nicer in the areas where it overmixes with white and gold, just when I'm gonna do all the blowouts and add my textured embellishment. For the white side, I use a regular titanium white, and just like with the dark side, I work on creating nice and even coverage. For the next step, I want to create a few splashes of color. I think it will help me frame the feather and will also help me to make the painting just a lot more interesting. So I'm adding some iridescent gold, some primary magenta, and for the white side, I decided to add a little bit of that red and black mix that I used for the other side. Now let's blow it out! I added quite a few details here and there, and before I call it done, I just want to make sure that I like how it looks with the feather inside of it, so I'm trying to visualize whether I should add more splashes to better frame it or should I stop. And you know what? I need to add a little more. I'm also working on making the border as sharp as possible, but looks like I need to slightly correct it once the painting is dry, because it's still not going to be perfectly straight as I need it for the feather background. And a couple more splashes of color here and there, and I am ready to stop. Okay, the base is done. It dried beautifully, very minimalistic, just a few splashes of color. I had to touch up this uh, border between my black and white because it was a little wavy and I really wanted it, to, I wanted it to match the center part of the feather perfectly. So as you can see right now, it's pretty good. So first things first, with stencil, I want to secure it. First of all, I need to find a perfect position that I like and now secure it with a masking tape. It's very important that the stencil sits flat on your canvas. So make sure there are no waves anywhere. And next I'm gonna apply some gloss gel. That's what I always do for my texture stencil application to prevent paint bleeding and also to create texture. So I'm using this gloss gel by PBO. I like to apply on my designs closer to the center and then spread from the center out. By the way, it dries transparent. For those of you who wonder like where does the white go? It's not white to begin with. I can tell that my gloss gel is pretty old. You can see that it lumped up a little bit. 
it might cause some trouble when I'm going to be lifting up the stencil because in the areas where I have large chunks of gel, it will lift up too much paint. Uh, I don't know. Of course, I can always touch it up. So what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to maybe work it out and break down some of those lumps. But this is... That's not good. <laughs> Come on, Feather. I want you to be so pretty. Okay. So next I want to apply um, gold. It's the same gold that I used here. So this is Iridescent Precious Gold, also by PBO. I want it to be the center part and then from gold blend into my black and white. Again, uh, for the stencil, I don't use fluid acrylics. I use paint right off the tube or the jar. A thicker texture definitely works better for this technique, in my opinion. Now here I have mixed some black. It's the same color as here, so it's black with some red and some violet, because I didn't want to use pure black. And it goes on the white side. I think I mixed way too much. I really like how this color turns it sort of into brownish, but very dark, rich chocolate brown when it blends with gold. Let's do the white. And for white, I'm just gonna use titanium white. I don't need to add any fancy mix. You can see that I need a little bit more gold in this section right here because I want my feather to blend through the gold into the white and uh, dark, so I need to make sure that I have enough for the blending. I think this is really cool. I like how it's where it's getting. Even without stencil itself, this very cool abstract looking feather. All right. You know what? I think I also want to add just a few tiny touches of this magenta that I used here. I'm gonna use smaller spatula. I like how on the white side it adds flame to it. There is so much paint here already. I just kind of want to lift up that stencil and see how it looks already. It's very important to do it right away. Don't let it sit for too long, otherwise the paint will start to cure, the dry, and will adhere your stencil for good to your canvas. So be very careful when you're removing the tape. You still want to keep the stencil flat to the canvas at this stage. Okay, ready or what? Let's do it. Let's <laughs> lift it up. I am also... I'm very excited to see how it works. I've never done feather with stencil before. Is it good? Tell me. You see it first. Ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, when I see that when I was adding the paint, I really thought that it was much wider. Okay, this is so pretty. I wish I had more red here. And here. I think it looks really cool with all this added texture. It sort of frames it. All right, my friend, here it is dry and I think it is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's so different from everything that I have been doing in the past. And I think this is what I love even more about it because it's really out of my comfort zone, something new. So let's take a look at all the details here. I absolutely love the fact that after I removed the stencil and I had a bunch of paint and gel left on the stencil itself, I picked it up with a spatula, with a uh, painting knife, and I applied in multiple sections all, all across, um, all around my feather. And it really created this effect of 
energy expanding from the feather and it's like glowing and it's vibrating with this energy and i think it is so cool because before i had some of these you know blown elements they were already sort of framing this feather but because it's textured it looks so much better when some of these elements outside here are also textured so i'm really happy that i decided just to go for it just to let my hand do the magic and add all these elements and another thing that I really love is that I have so much gold in my feather. So my initial idea was to have a little bit more black on this side and a little bit more white on this side. But I have not really correctly estimated the size of my stencil when I was doing this one. And I ended up having more gold than white and black. And after it dried, after I hang it on the wall and I was looking at it, I actually love it because this transition is much more smooth is much more seamless it has this yin and yang kind of feel to it but at the same time it's more about the golden story and this gold oh my god i mean gold is gold it's beautiful it's shiny you can't go wrong with it so what i think now i want to try finding the similar stencil in huge size in like much bigger size and imagine this painting this type of layout but four times bigger maybe even bigger i think that would be very cool Please let me know how do you like the concept? Oh, it's so fun to touch. I love when there is some texture. It's just pretty cool to touch it. And by the way, this piece is already varnished, so it's completely finished and ready to go. And I'm going to add it for purchase on my website in case you're interested. Let me know what you think about it. I would love to chat with you in the comments down below. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.